What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to literally unlimited shield energy on this new Gothic Mars with a Gothic Fainter and Anna Basarab as a legendary pilot. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how I acquired near unlimited shield energy so that even Titan weapons like this, who do 200,000 damage per shot, all these three weapons together, just can't go through these shields because they always have to deal with a robot shield and the battleship shield and the robot shield overlaps the battleship shield so that he has to do with deal with these swip swapping shields all the time on top of that the purple shield that pops up if there's ever a chance for a direct hit it's impossible unlimited shields period ladies and gentlemen let me show you how this happened um, with this new gothic mars and the gothic fainters and anna bazarab who gives you a speed boost and a heal back once you uh, return the turret. So yeah, let's go into the gameplay, ladies and gentlemen, but first. Today we're not only dealing damage, but also cards. Welcome to Marvel Snap, today's sponsor and a brand new free-to-play collectible card game in the Marvel Universe with some of the fastest gameplay of all the CCGs. With over 150 cards and different art designs, Marvel Snap came out on October 18th worldwide for Android, iOS, and as a beta for PC. So it literally just arrived. So use my link down below to play away right away. But while I'm dealing with my opponent right here, let me give you some interesting facts about the game. Created by the game designer of Hearthstone, Marvel Snap is a love letter to all the Marvel fans out there. The gameplay, as you can see, features three random locations that reveal themselves over time. And in this match here, I'm actually making use of the Baxter building bonus to win the match in six turns. And the real kicker is, both players make their decisions and moves at the same time which makes the gameplay so fast paced and fun. And then you can also snap in the middle of the game to mess with your opponent's mind by doubling the cosmic cubes at stake. Another thing I really enjoy about the game is the music. It seems to be interactive responding to the actions that both players are making. There's no pay to win in the game. You earn cards by playing and all upgrades for cards are only of cosmetic nature. Marvel Snap is right now available for Steam as early access and the full launch for mobile in perfect cross-platform style. That means your progress carries over no matter where you play. So go ahead, play it right now for free using my link down in the video description and pinned comment. And thank you, Marvel Snap, for sponsoring this video. Happy collecting and happy winning, everyone. How did this happen? I mean, the Mars itself comes with 200,000 shield energy already itself, as you can see here with all the uh, pilot skills and stuff we have. I'm throwing in a turret right there into their base, right? I know that the turret is going to do some, some nasty things to them. In the meantime, I'm just going to fight over here uh, this other dude. Somebody's in stealth where my turret is, comes out of stealth, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess, yeah, the turret is still on somebody. We're shooting now the Kepri into the back. Uh, my uh, Mars shield is regenerating all the time, right? Uh, and I have the Fainters here too, with Shield Breaker. I can break right through the shield on that Typhon robot, but right now I'm more focused on the center because with 600 meters range of these Fainters, you can actually do a pretty good job at covering the map very uh, well. Uh, and also taking down this Typhon here. So I'm soon going to get my first battleship support. And once that happens, I'm going to get an extra shield, obviously. This is how it works, right? So pop, 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 come on. Wait for it. And fire, 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 getting the kill. Pam. So battleship ready. We're launching the battleship onto us now. Also launch the turret into the center of the enemy base. You see it flying there. It's now on the enemy base beacon and dealing with these people on there. Meanwhile, I just got myself... An extra shield. You can see in the top left it says the number two. That means there is my robot shield. Oh, the turret just killed somebody. My robot shield that will constantly regenerate and below that is the battleship shield. And because the robot shield is above the battleship shield, I can constantly acquire, again here, using the turret and the battleship, more and more battleship shields underneath my robot shield. And he always has to deal first with the robot shield itself that regenerates so quickly that he can't basically get through. Meanwhile, this in uh, this this Fenrir has so much HP that I can easily keep restoring so many of these shields and re restoring battleship support all the time because he keeps healing back, obviously, right? So uh, yeah, let's just keep shooting. He hasn't even gotten through my robot shield yet. He's really trying, but he can't go through. Now he was through for a second, and he has to deal with my battleship shield now. But pop in between pops the robot shield itself again, taking over. So every time the robot shield gains some strength, even if it's just 15 or 20,000, it will take over and block shots and, uh, and save your battleship shields or the, you know, support shields from, uh, from uh, up high up uh, from taking damage. And this is what you want because the battleship shields do not regenerate by, by themselves. 
but the robot shield does. So the fact that it overlaps the other shields is just insane. And here comes another fun aspect. The purple shields from the uh, Observer drone ship overlaps the robot and the battleship shields. So when they ever pop up because somebody shoots you from within the shield and others shoot you too, you will still get a purple shield that blocks every damage first before it goes back to the regular yellow shields. Living legend ain't no thing with this setup. Guys, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I have made videos before with unlimited shields or whatever, but this is truly unlimited, man. There's no way to go through these. The only way to kill this now is literally by shield breaking. If you don't shield break, forget it. You can't kill it. There's just too much shield. Simple as that. You could use, if you have multiple titans with multiple shotgun weapons, maybe you could drop it. But even that would take you a while. And we're talking at like, what, 400,000 DPS with these multiple titans. Here we have an enemy Kepri coming in. Uh, these fainters are admittedly not the best brawling weapon at short range, but I'm getting another battleship. Have you even noticed how many battleships we already sent on to us to get support over support over support? At this point, I don't even know how many those are. And again, you see in the top left, it says 200,000. It was 1.2 million. 1.2 million shields underneath my robot shield. And every third shot he takes on me is blocked by the robot shield itself because it keeps taking priority over the battleship shields. So this is the first Titan here with the big um, Maha and Vara and Vara weapons. So massive shotgun firepower. And he wasn't even able to drop half my uh, my shield. And here comes another one from, from the space. Dude, li I'm serious. You can only kill this with shield breaker. There's no other way. It's just not possible. If not even a Titan with these three shotgun weapons can break through these shields, how would you ever do this with a regular robot? It's impossible. Now he hit me somehow. Maybe he walked inside my shield or something and I got an absorber shield onto me. But he's still dealing with my robot shield and pop. After that, we still have 800,000 shield energy on the battleship shield. Now 300,000 because he deals so much damage. And then pop, the robot shield comes, comes taking over again. And then pop, we have battleship support ready. Meanwhile, Absorber Shield popped up for a sec. This is so crazy. I have been occupying this Titan for the entire time, and he hasn't been able to do any damage. This is completely out of control. I've never seen so many shields at once. We've seen plenty of shields on a Cerberus, but this much. Does the Air, does the Cerberus, no, no, the Erebus, I mean. Here's a question. Uh, does the Erebus Shield supersede the battleship shield too the oh, 7.4 million damage done by the way um this is a question for all of us as a community we need to figure this out the erebus shield is it also taking priority over the battleship shield on the erebus or is there something that the that makes this mars robot so special because it would explain why i've never seen such a high amount of shield energy on an erebus before if if the shield wouldn't take it off take over constantly and on the other hand, maybe the recharge rate on the Mars shield simply is much higher, considering uh, uh, basically making it so that whenever you try to shoot down that battleship shield, always every second or third shot is getting blocked again by the uh, by the shield from the robot. I think we should count the amount of times I've set shield in this video. I think it would be probably already 50 times or so. Um, but yeah, so let's keep going. Adding the battleship support on me again. I have, I have it ready. So here we go, pop, and you see pop, now there's a, a two on the top left, right? So the first, uh, first orbital shield basically is on me, I think with about 270,000 durability. Every time I do this, I get about 270,000 extra shield energy. But again, it's underneath the other one from the robot, right? So, um, yep, popping back up, the regular robot shield takes over with 40,000 durability. Yeah, it seems like every time you re restore the shield, you get about 45,000 tick on on the on the robot shield itself, interfering with the with enemies trying to take down your orbital support. And it's just awesome how many enemies are fighting down there. I could just have fun from here. Pop another support from orbit. Pop gotten this kill. This guy's gonna try and walk into cover. Unfortunately, he also gets the orbital shield here. Yep, there it is. And he had two of them. I dropped both of them. So, uh, 
I was gonna throw the turret behind him, but unfortunately I think it took me too long and he's just gonna be able to get into the next sh uh, uh, flight. Yeah, there it is. See? If I had been able to do this earlier, I could have forced him out of cover and killed him in the front, or he would have been killed by the turret itself. In this case, unfortunately, it took me too long. I was somehow slowed for forever for, with all the, my speed. But here goes the dude. Here goes him. Pop. There we go. Nice. Getting kept reboosted. And here's the thing. Even the robot itself, the Mars, actually does have a lot of health too. Look at this. 200, 300, 430 or whatever thousand HP. That's a lot of HP. It's almost as much as many as some of the tanks have, right? So, uh, considering this to be such a sh heavily shielded robot, it explains why the, uh, why the Mars is such a hard to take down enemy. Meanwhile, by the way, we got another orbital support. Um, so this, this, by the way, I think is another match. This is the, s the second or third match here now, or the second match. It's the same map, but it's a different side. And he's shooting me with his heavy shotguns, but you see 800,000 shield energy. 800,000 yellow energy shields already are underneath the robot shield. So whenever somebody comes to try and take it down, that's what I can do. Oh, he's shield breaking me. Look at this. With a, with a hawk beam, he was actually shield breaking me. And now his shield break is over and he's trying to go through my robot shield. And this is the moment when this robot is, ceases to become uh, effective. As long as his shield breaker was active, I had to be careful because he was actually going to deal damage to my robot. But meanwhile, we have 340,000 HP. Do you notice something? I didn't say that at first because I wanted to get you guys thinking. Do you notice that we have more and more HP? Now it's 370,000. We have as much HP now as a Ravana. Here comes the question. Does the Mars robot have this amount of HP normally? The answer is no. The reason we have this much HP is because of the durability extender turret from the battleship constantly adding more and more maximum HP on the robot, right? Allowing me to basically come out with uh, maybe even 500,000 HP on a Mars, together with the immense amount of shielding that the robot itself gets, right? So you're not only getting shields on Mars, you're also gaining HP on Mars. And it just, it just, I'm, I'm, it boggles my mind. I'm in a lack of words at this point. What am I, what else could I say? What could I say to, to, to describe the insanity that goes along with this kind of defense system? I don't even know how many shields we have now. I don't know, because it's hidden underneath the robot shield. I can't see it. I only see there's a second, a number two, meaning there is another shield underneath this one. How much it is? No one knows. Could be a million, could be one and a half million. We don't know. Somebody needs to take down the regular robot shield so we can see how much is underneath. Maybe this Titan can do it. Nope, forget it. And we got another sh uh, shield on us now. Alright. Here, pop. Now we have 400,000 HP, ladies and gentlemen, on the Mars. And we already suffered 20% damage. Alright. Let's not forget this. This guy blinds, uh, blocks, no, not blocks me, what is it? Um, disables me. Boom. Now he's shooting my shield. My robot shield is going down, but not quite because he lost firepower. Unfortunately, we are... Hmm. Look at this. He's getting shot by my weapons and my turret at the same time. That was a 100% uh, Kepri here. And unfortunately, I don't think we will ever see or know how much shield energy is underneath this, uh, this thing. Unless they drop my shields now. Come on, enemy titans. Get my shield. Get my robot shield destroyed. Yes. Come on, guys. Do it. I'm still sending in support. Robot shield is meanwhile back at 150,000. Come on. Drop that shield, guys. Drop it. I want to see it. No, we won't be able to see it. But I can tell you how much it must have been. It would have been probably around 1.9 to 2 million shields underneath the robot shield. So imagine multiple titans coming my way now, taking me down, or trying to take me down. You know how they would look when they see all their shotguns going into shields that seem to take almost no damage whatsoever? 14 kills, 2 caps, 7.3 million damage done again. And um, yeah, I would say it's about 2 million shield energy under the robot shield itself that we had. And we had more than 400,000 Probably about 450,000 HP on the Mars itself, fully maxed if you restore all the gray. 
That is crazy. It's just crazy. Tell me what you think in the comments, guys. Um, of course, we are playing this in the Shield Break meta, right? Let's not forget. It seems completely ridiculous and overpowered, and it is. But if you Shield Break the Mars, you can kill him really easily. And that is... And, and we are in the middle of the Shield Break meta. So... All the Sirens and Harpies are shield-breaking. Fafnir's are shield-breaking without even using the module. Most of the, Sir uh, the Seraphs flying around are using shield-breaker by now. Most, many of the Typhons and Erebus also are ru running shield-breaker. Uh, because this is what you need in order you want to do damage. Because those pop-up shields ruin your gameplay otherwise, right? And therefore, this time, th what I've just shown you, it doesn't work all the time. Because very often you're just going to get shield-breaking and killed. And believe me, it happened a lot when I was trying to record this gameplay. But in this, these two matches, it wasn't happening, and the result was something that just could not get killed. Like I said, without shield break, it's not killable. And now ask yourself why there is a shield break meta. Alright, so for now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks for watching, have a good one, thanks also for the sponsor on the video, and see you in the next video. Money signing off, bye-bye.